Hey there! Hello! And once again, welcome to Biopandit, your one-stop comprehensive bioinformatics training platform. This is sort of your very own Maha Pandit. Today, I am going to talk about a fundamental aspect of structural biology, that is protein secondary structural elements. Allowed values of phi and psi angles is represented as the Ramachandran plot. The Ramachandran plot tells us about the conformations that a polypeptide chain can adapt. But it does not tell us whether these adapted conformations will be stable. Five major non-covalent interactions are responsible for maintaining the stability of a native structure. These interactions include disulfide bonds, salt bridges, hydrogen bonds, long distance electrostatic interactions and van der Waals interactions. Among these interactions, hydrogen bond interactions play a critical role to stabilize the globular structures of all known proteins. Let us now come to the point. Although proteins are linear polymers, most soluble proteins are globular and they have a tightly packed core consisting preliminary of hydrophobic amino acids. Segments of the folded chain in nearly all proteins adapt conformations in which the phi and psi torsion angles repeat in a regular pattern. These regular segments are called the elements of secondary structure of the protein. Three general types of secondary structural elements have been identified. Helices, beta sheets and beta turns. We differentiate among these three elements based on two factors. One, the characteristic phi psi dihedral angles of the respective amino acids and two, the characteristic hydrogen bonding pattern. The simplest secondary structural element in globular proteins is the beta turn. It consists of a hydrogen bond between the carbonyl oxygen of the ith residue and the amide group of the I plus 3th residue, reversing the direction of the chain. This pattern of hydrogen bonding cannot continue throughout the chain because the turn is too tight. This tiny element of secondary structure is called a beta turn or a reverse turn or sometimes a hairpin turn based on, it, on its shape. In a few cases, this interaction can be made between residue I and I plus 2, but such a turn is highly strained and may be unstable. An interesting fact about beta turns is that most of the main chain carboxy and amino group hydrogen bond donor and acceptor sites are not making hydrogen bonds with other backbone atoms. Rather, such turns are generally found on protein surfaces where water molecules occupy these unsatisfied hydrogen bonding sites. There are two basic types of turns, type 1 and type 2. The hydrogen bonding pattern remains identical in both. The difference between the two types of turn is an inverted peptide bond. So you can easily understand that phi and psi angles associated with these two types of turn would be entirely different. That difference you can see here in this Ramachandran plot. And I guess this is all you need to know to build up your basic concepts. So, this is all for now guys. For further information on proteins and nucleic acids, please keep watching the other videos of Biopandit. Please feel free to contact us in biopandit at the gmail.com and in our Facebook page with suggestions, requests for videos and asking for technical help. If you like our videos, please hit the like button and help others by sharing it. For more updates, please subscribe to our channel and like our Facebook page. Bye guys. See you soon.